Click to enlarge photo courtesy of 20th Century Studios Merry Christmas. Ya filthy animal Kevin, Macaulay Culkin, has found himself lost once again, except it's in New York, and his burglar nemeses are ready for revenge. What's it rated? PG when? 1992 where's it showing? Disney plus a John Hughes masterpiece, and, dare I say, better than the first, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York starts exactly as the first did. Buzz Devin Rattray is a jerk, Kevin, Macaulay Culkin, is misunderstood, and his entire family loses him in the frenzy of rushing through the Chicago airport to catch their flight to Florida. Kevin is adamant about getting new batteries from his dad's bag for his voice recorder as the family is running through the airport. He stops for mere seconds to replace the batteries with fresh ones and resumes the mad dash. But it turns out that many white males wear khaki-colored coats in the Chicago airport, so Kevin, unfortunately, follows a stranger on a flight to New York. Of course his clueless, too large, family doesn't realize Kevin is missing until they're picking up their luggage at their destination. Then his mom, Kate, Catherine O'Hara, screams his name and faints at the reality that she might be a terrible parent. Meanwhile, Kevin is enjoying being the Big Apple's newest tourist and has somehow charmed the staff at the Plaza Hotel to allow him to stay in one of its finest rooms by using his dad's credit card. He's at the height of kid luxury with a room complete with junk food room service and limousine rides to toy stores, which all comes to an utter halt when the hotel concierge Tim Curry finds out the credit card has been reported stolen. Not to mention the wet bandits, now the sticky bandits, Harry, Joe Pesci, and Marv Daniel Stern, have escaped from prison, are planning to rob a toy store in New York, and want to kill Kevin, for throwing them in the slammer. Hilarity ensues when Kevin once again MacGyvers his way out of the grasp of the sticky bandits. 121 Minutes. Delta.